view of the hip, we're going to do right side for both. So the anterior view of the right hip is viewed like this. The patient lies down with feet close together and the x-ray beam goes right at the uh, level of the uh, hip joint and it looks something like this. And so taking a look at now the anatomy of this, there we can see the sacrum and within the sacrum we see these dark shadows here. Those are showing the sacral foramina for the sacral spinal nerves. And then this structure right here, that's the ox os coxa, which, um, or os coxa for plural for both sides, but we just see one here. And there, that bone of the os coxa here is the ilium. And the ilium then articulates with the sacrum right here at the sacroiliac joint or SI joint. This structure right here, that is showing the anterior superior iliac spine or ASIS. And then right below it is the AIIS or the anterior inferior iliac spine. And then here we have this bone right here that is showing our ischium. And on the ischium, we can see that outlined area here. That is the ischial tuberosity. Then we also have this bone right there that is showing the pubis. And the pubis has a branch that comes out down below that is called the inferior pubic ramus. And then we have it joins with the ischial ramus to make the ischial pubic ramus, also known as the conjoint ramus for attachments all the adductor muscles. And there we have was our superior pubic ramus. And the word ramus means branch. You have a superior and an inferior pubic ramus. Then this dark structure right there, it's dark because it's primarily fibrocartilage, is the pubic symphysis that is that structure right there articulating between the two pubic bones. This opening or hole right there, that is called the obturator foramen. And obtur obturator OB it means it's actually uh, means stopped up because that's a membrane that closes most of it except for a little opening at the top where the obturator nerve artery and vein come out. Um, that obturator frame is very characteristic opening there, but it sounds like operator, like, uh, but it's not, but it sounds like it but it's not. So then we have this structure right there that is showing the greater sciatic notch. And then this, all the structure right there, that is showing the acetabulum. Now, if we zoom up, the acetabulum has three parts, the posterior acetabular rim there on the back. And then we have this one light line right there. That is the anterior acetabular rim. And then we have the dome of the acetabulum right there. So there's the three structures of the acetabulum. And it kind of looks like a cup. Posterior acetabular rim, anterior acetabular rim, and dome of the acetabulum. And that makes up the acetabulum there. That's the socket of the ball and socket joint of the hip. Then this whole bone right there is showing the femur. The parts of the femur include the head of the femur, right there that looks like it's rounded, it looks like a head. That's the ball, the ball and socket joint of the hip joint. And that little divot right there, that is for the fovea, it's the fovea for the ligament of the femoral head. And then there in that dark space here, that's the actual hip joint, that synovial ball and socket joint. Next we have this, which is showing the femoral neck. And then we have this very large bony protuberance there. That is the greater trochanter of the femur. And the smaller one right here, that is the lesser trochanter of the femur. And then connecting the two is the anterior, is the, pardon me, interior trochanteric crest. And then this collar bone on the outside of the diaphysis of the femur, that's compact bone. And then the grayer area in the middle, that's the medullary cavity. And it looks something like this, where the compact bone is very dense, hence why it's a white collar. Whereas the medullary cavity houses yellow bone marrow primarily and a little bit of red bone marrow at the top. That's why it looks darker. Now let's do the hip from a lateral view on the right side. So the x-ray, so the patient has their leg abducted and externally rotated like this. And the x-ray goes right there onto the hip joint and it forms then this orthogonal view more of the hip joint where the femur more is at a right angle from how you usually see it. And this lateral view is sometimes called the frog leg view. I wonder why. So on this lateral view there, we can see this bone here, which is the ilium. And then we can also see this part of the ilium, which is the greater sciatic notch. And then you can barely see that gray area there. There is our spine of the ischium or ischial spine. And below that here is the lesser sciatic notch. And then that whole structure here is showing the acetabulum. And then there is the femoral head. And there is the 
hip joint, synovial ball and socket joint. Then coming off the femoral head is the femoral neck with the greater trochanter shown there. You can get appreciation for how big that is. And the lesser trochanter here. And then there is the compact bone. And there is the medullary cavity. And that 